Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. David Leland, Wish You Were Here director, dies at 82. The British theater, film, and TV writer-director had a five-decade career. David Leland, the veteran British theater, film and TV writer and director best known for his 1987 debut movie, Wish You Were Here, has died. He was 82. Leland's death on Christmas Eve was announced by his longtime publicist, Casaroto Ramsey and Associates. Born on April 20, 1941, Leland initially trained as an actor at the Central Speech of School and Drama and had many stage credits before moving into direction at the Crucible Theatre. Leland worked with such British talent as Michael Palin and Terry Jones and directed the world premiere of Their Finest Hours. Pierce Brosnan got his first opportunity to act on stage in the British premiere of Tennessee Williams' The Red Devil Battery Sign at the Roundhouse, which Leland directed. David Leland holds a mighty place in my heart, Brosnan said in a statement. I was just out of Drama Center where David was also an alumni. It was the thrill of my young life team to be cast as McCabe, working with David in Tennessee. David will forever be an essential part of my story and of all who knew and loved him. Leland wrote two films about the British suburban Madam Cynthia Payne, Personal Services, 1987, directed by Terry Jones and starring Julie Walters, and Wish You Were Here, 1987, which marked his directorial debut and starred Emily Lloyd. His later films as a director include The Big Man, starring Liam Neeson, and Land Girls, starring Rachel Wise, and which Leland also co-wrote. On the TV front, Leland directed the episode Bastogne for the HBO miniseries Band of Brothers and served as a writer and director on Showtime's The Borgias, starring Jeremy Irons. Fellow British talent paid tribute to Leland on news of his death. David was there at the very beginning of this crazy adventure. He changed my life, and I love him for it. I'll keep him with me always, Tim Roth said in a statement. And Liam Neeson, with his own praise, said, David was a dream to work with. He was a real collaborator. He genuinely loved and admired actors. We formed a close bond. I loved his mischievous sense of humor. You are always in my heart, old friend. See you down the road. Leland is survived by his wife, Sabrina, and four daughters, his son, and his six grandchildren. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more.